Guys, so I welcome you all to this session in which we will be solving 25 questions of SSC J 2018 Mechanical Engineering paper, which was held on 27th September 2019, Shift 1. Okay, so before we start this session, I'll be talking about SSC J 2018 Mechanical paper. So we have been asked many a times that what would be the cutoff uh, for SSCJ 2018 for the mechanical uh, engineering paper. So as we know that uh, this year for 2018 uh, vacancies are um, two less. Okay. So if vacancies come hai, to iska matlab ye hai ki cutoff to jada jayega. So uh, we we think that the cutoff uh, in any case will not be less than 135 okay so 135 is basically after uh, normalization so as we know that uh, 25th paper uh, second shift paper was uh, quite tough as compared to the other two shifts of 27th september so as a ho sakta hai ki 27th september mein uh, jo students hai unke normalization thode marks kam bhi ho sakte hain and uh, 25th wale mein thode se marks bad bhi sakte hain 25th mein zyada marks badenge i think 15 to 20 marks but uh, still i would say the cut off uh, will not be less than 135 aur aisa bhi ho sakta hai ki 140 bhi chala jaye okay so you you have to accept it with with a pinch of salt okay kyunki kafi sare bacche hain kafi sare students hain jo keh rahe hain ki cut off can be 120 122 125 so let me clarify this that cutoff will not be less than 135 okay so let us start beginning this session uh, of SSCJ 2018 mechanical paper so today we are uh, taking 25 questions of 27th shift uh, 2 okay so the first question is uh, in in an axial flow pump the liquid enters so in case of axial flow pump we know that the flow inward is going to be axial as well as the flow at the outward will be axial in direction okay so inward and outward will be along the axis of shaft so in this case the right answer is c but if we talk about a radial type of pump in that case the inward flow the flow uh, i would say the the inlet flow to the pump is going to be along the axis of shaft which is axial and then outward or the outlet flow is going to be radial so along the radius of the blade okay so this is all about the type of pump and the flow of direction at the inlet and exit so 101 ka answer hoga C. Okay, so the next question is which of the following devices are used to preheat the feed water before being supplied to the boiler. So we know that economizer is the device which is used to increase the temperature of the feed water which is supplied to the boiler. So in that case the right answer is A. Okay, and uh, superheater aapko pata hai ki boiler ke baad hota hai. Okay. So, which increases the temperature of uh, steam and steam becomes superheated steam in nature. Okay. So, 102 ka answer hoga A. Next question, the volume of air delivered by the compressor is. So, whatever the amount of air being delivered by a pump or I would say by a compressor, it is called, uh, it, is, it is called its capacity. So, in this case, the right answer is D. So what is swept volume? Swept volume is the volume uh, from TDC to BDC, from top dead center to bottom dead center. So it is basically the volume of cylinder uh, and we, we do not consider the clearance volume in case of swept volume. So the total cylinder volume is basically addition of swept volume and clearance volume. So that is about swept volume whereas the compression ratio is nothing but the volume before compression divided by volume after compression so in this case the right answer is d okay so the next question is about water so water is basically a type of newtonian fluid 
so we assume that it follows newton's law of viscosity tau is equal to mu into du by dy so the right answer is b okay so the next question is what would be the maximum shear stress in a shaft of diameter d subjected to torsion t okay so in that case first of all we need to find out polar modulus which is denoted by zp and polar modulus is given by pi d cube divided by 16 okay so how would you get polar modulus polar modulus is nothing but moment of inertia or i would say polar moment of inertia ip divided by y so this is <coughs> sorry so <coughs> sorry guys so the uh, polar modulus i would say the section polar modulus it is uh, given by uh, polar moment of inertia divided by y okay so what is ip ip is basically pi d raised to 4 divided by 32 and divided by y will be d by 2 so this is how uh, you would arrive at zp which is pi d q by 16 so when you substitute all these values you will get answer d okay so the compression of vapor by an ejector is carried out in which of the following systems so it is used in vapor jet type of system so the right answer is d ye aapko dhyan rakhna hai aapko yaad karke rakhna hai ki ejector ka jo purpose hai it is being served in vapor jet compression system okay next question so typically we have for auto cycle so auto cycle can be ideal or can be actual okay so auto cycle can be ideal or can be actual so we have been asked the pressure rise in si engine during combustion is lower than that in an air standard auto cycle for the same heat input so it is basically due to variable specific heat and uh, variable uh, dissociation okay so uh, these are the main causes uh, due to which the pressure rise in actual cycle of uh, of an auto cycle or i would say the actual auto cycle will be less than ideal auto cycle so the pressure rise in case of actual auto cycle will be less than ideal uh, ideal auto cycle due to uh, variable specific heat and dissociation baki ke jo parameters hain uh, these are also uh, these are also the parameters uh, which could lead to the heat losses but uh, to be very specific uh, for combustion these are not responsible factors okay so for 107 the right answer is a okay next question what is a path line so path line is basically so let us say you have let us say this is fluid okay and let us assume that uh, we have a particle so let us say this is a particle now this particle is going to is going to travel uh, inside this fluid uh, along some path okay so let us say it starts from here let us say point one and then it moves like this so this is the path of particle in a fluid okay so this is called as path line so what is path line path line is the line which is being traced by a fluid element okay so the right answer is d okay next question what is an ideal flow so basically the ideal flow is a flow in which the viscosity is zero so the right answer is c okay so if the compression of air is being carried out in large number of stages with perfect intercooling between the stages then the overall compression will approach to so let us take the pv diagram so it becomes very clear what type of plot is going to be 
raised okay so let us take multi staging okay so now the compression will take place in multi stages so let us take like this okay so these are the pressure lines and it means that it will be compressed in more than one stage so let us start with this point point 1 okay so this is point 1 now to next line to the next isobaric line it will be compressed let us say it is being compressed in a polytropic manner okay so let us draw a polytropic line and after reaching point 2 let us say this is point 2 then it will be intercooled okay likewise again it will be polytropically then intercooled polytropically intercooled polytropically intercooled polytropically intercooled again polytropically intercooled polytropically compressed then intercooling then again polytropically uh, compressed and intercooling so if you observe you will observe that this line is very identical to an isothermal process so it means that whenever you use multi staging with intercooling so that would lead to the isothermal compression so this is the right answer in case of 110 see if we talk about uh, the work input to any compressor so it is basically uh, given by like suction you have the first stage is suction then you have compression then you have discharge okay so any compression process is basically a polytropic process okay it it will uh, neither be adiabatic nor isothermal so it is impossible to achieve adiabatic as well as isothermal process but if we want to reduce the work input in a in a compression process so what we have to do is we have got for uh, two options the first option is like you can use more than one compression stages and uh, with the help of multi staging or multi stage compression you can use intercooling so that is that is the first uh, uh, method by which you can reduce the work input to the compressor whereas the second method is to use isothermal compression so which is an ideal case and it is uh, highly impossible to achieve and therefore in some of the places uh, wherever you have a compressor people tend to use uh, water jacketing as well so water jacketing can also help you to achieve isothermal compression so here the right answer is c okay so let us move on to the next question so the next question is about what would happen if the pressure inside the boiler exceeds the desired level okay so let us say pb exceeds the p required so in that case what type of device you are supposed to use so in that case we need safety valve so safety valve mein kya hoga ki jab bhi aapka zyada steam develop ho jayega ya aapka steam uh, steam let us say you have steam in case of uh, boiler to so aapke boiler mein jitna bhi steam hoga so as we know that due to steam there will be rise in pressure to so agar aap thoda sa steam again kahin se kisi outlet se excess steam ko nikal denge तो एक्सेस स्टीम के निकल निकल जाने के बाद क्या होगा कि आपका जो बॉयलर टैंक है उसका अंदर का जो प्रेशर इट विल डिक्रीज ओके सो द बेस्ट वे टू रेड्यूस इट इज टू यूज सेफ्टी वॉल्व ओके ओके द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट ऑरिफिस मीटर सो व्हाट इज ऑरिफिस मीटर ऑरिफिस मीटर इज बेसिकली इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ प्लेट विच इज यूज टू मेजर द डिस्चार्ज और मास फ्लोरेट ऑफ अ fluid in any given section okay so the right answer is b okay so the next question is which of the following type of cooling system will be used in heavy trucks okay so jahan pe bhi aapke paas heavy truck hai wahan pe so the best way is to use convective type of cooling so for convective type of cooling you can use air cooling system with fins so we have also studied that uh, air cooling system with fins will have convective type of heat transfer which is very dominant in nature so the right answer is d 
Okay, so the next question is the modern method of making steel from liquid iron and scrap uses. So it, it is basically ladle furnace. Okay, so the modern method is going to use the ladle furnace. So the right answer is C. Okay, you have to Okay, so the next question is about U2 manometer. So let us say we have a pipe. Okay, so we have taken the side view of any pipe. So the side view is going to give you a circle. And let us say it has a fluid having specific gravity 0.9. So it means that the density is 900 kg per meter cube. And to this, a U2 type of manometer is connected. So here we have shown okay and mercury is being used in this YouTube so let us say we have mercury so this is mercury यहाँ पे so ये mercury होगा यहाँ पे आपका पूरा Okay, and here you have a fluid having specific gravity 0.9 or density 900 kg per meter cube. Whereas the density of uh, mercury is 13,600 kg per meter cube. Okay, now it has been said that from the center of this pipe, the mercury level is given how much? It is 12 centimeter. Okay, so this is the first uh, data which has been given to you. Okay, and apart from that, the difference between the, uh, so okay, so the center of the pipe is 12 centimeter below the level of mercury in the right limb, whereas find the pressure of fluid in a pipe if the difference of mercury level in two limbs is 20 centimeter. Okay, so this is given 20 centimeter. So by making use of formula, you will get rho is equal to uh, P is equal to sorry this is P P is equal to 2.57 Newton per centimeter square so this is question number 115 answer is D okay so what would be the atmospheric pressure at ground level so atmospheric pressure is 1 atm which is equal to 1 kgf per centimeter square so the right answer is A okay so the term cyclic integral of del Q by T it denotes nothing but ds change in entropy so this is going to denote entropy so the right answer is b okay so the next question is a device used to put off fire in the furnace of the boiler when the level of the water in the fall in in the uh, fall to an unsafe limit okay so jabhi bhi furnace ke andar aapka zyada uh, temperature increase ho jayega in, in, in case of furnace, so what you can do is you can use a visible plug. So hota kya hai? Let us say you have a combustion chamber. So this is combustion chamber over which you have boiler tank. Okay, this is boiler tank. So boiler tank will have water. So as soon as the temperature of the combustion chamber exceeds the safe limit, there will be a fusible plug. Okay, and the melting point of this fusible plug is very less. Okay, so as soon as the temperature reaches uh, the safe limit or I would say the uh, temperature inside the combustion chamber becomes more than the safe limit. In that case, this fusible plug will melt down and there will be flow of water to the combustion chamber. So the right answer is D. Okay, so the next question is the specific gravity is how much? 2.5. It means that density is 2500 kg per meter cube now we have been asked how much will be the mass of one liter of the liquid so we know that rho is equal to mass by volume okay now density is how much 2500 kg per meter cube whereas volume is how much one liter and one liter is nothing but 10 to the power of minus 3 meter cube so when you substitute all these values you will get 2.5 kg so the data which is given g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square it is an obsolete data which is not required in this question so the right answer is d 
Okay, so the next question is, what is the pressure of steam produced in supercritical boiler? So it is up to the range of 22 MPa. So when you convert this value to bar, you will get 200 bar to 240 bar. So the right answer is C. Okay, question number 121. In a locomotive boiler, the draft is produced by. So you have four options. And the right answer is steam jet. Okay, so I will explain what is the meaning of draft and what are uh, what are the types of draft. Okay, so the key draft kya hota hai? draft is basically it is the pressure difference del P. Okay, so aapka jo chimney hai uske anda ka pressure or jo atmospheric pressure iske beach ka jo difference hai that is called as del P. Okay, now so draft is nothing but the pressure difference between the the pressure which is uh, inside the chimney and the atmospheric pressure okay so let us say we have a chimney and let us say this is p c and outside temperature is let us say uh, outside uh, value of pressure is p a okay so if p a is more than p c it means that air will tend to flow inside inside uh, of this uh, chamber okay cooling tower whereas if uh, PC is more than PA in that case the air tend to flow outward to the atmosphere okay now we have three types one is induced the second one is forced and third is balanced type of draft okay so what is balanced type of draft balanced type of draft is nothing but in which the pressure inside the chimney should be equal to the atmospheric pressure so that is called as balanced type of draft okay and in case of balanced type of draft you use fd and id fans both okay so aapko wahan pe fd or id fans dono ka use karna hota hai okay but in case of induced draft what will happen the inlet fan is basically placed on the top of cooling tower okay so aapka jo cooling tower hai uske top pe aap place karenge and what uh, what would happen uh, this is the inlet fan it means that air tend to flow inward to this uh, inside this cooling tower so it means that when air is going to flow inward so atmospheric pressure will be more than the pressure inside the cooling tower so that type of condition it is called as under pressure okay so that is called as under pressure and the other name is induced draft and for that the fan which is used is called as id fan but in case of forced forced draft what will happen we are going to place and uh, place an exhaust fan at the base of the cooling tower okay so there will be an exhaust fan so whenever we have an exhaust fan it means that the pressure inside the cooling tower will be more than the uh, will be more than the atmospheric pressure okay so in that case such type of condition is called as forced uh, draft and it is being uh, done with the help of uh, i would say uh, exhaust fan which is called as ef ef okay so ye aapko dhyan mein rakhna hai ki what is the difference between induced forced and balanced draft and what is the meaning of draft so the right answer is d steam jet okay so the next question is about isochoric so the other name of isochoric is basically isometric process in which change in volume is equal to zero or volume is constant so the right answer is c okay so the property enthalpy so enthalpy is given by h is equal to u plus pv so it is the addition of internal energy and uh, the multiplication of pressure and volume will give you PV work which is called as flow work so addition of U and PV will fetch you an, uh, a property which is called as enthalpy so enthalpy is the addition of internal energy and the product of pressure and volume so the right answer is B okay so the next question is the knocking rating of SI engine is determined by matching the performance of the engine with a mixture of so in case of si engine we use octane rating okay 
octane rating in which we use fuel uh, having mixture of iso octane and n heptane so the right answer is b okay likewise in case of ci engine we make use of cetane number okay to wahan pe cetane number hoga in case of ci engine compression ignition engine whereas in case of spark ignition engine we tend to use octane rating which is a mixture of iso octane and n heptane so the right answer is b okay so this is the last question of this session so we have been asked which of the following boilers will have uh, a large size of uh, tank i would say the drum or the storage area or uh, storage volume so the right answer is lancashire okay so lancashire boiler is a boiler which consists of a steel shell having 5 to 9 meter of लेंथ तो जो एक ऐसा स्टील शेल जिसकी जो लेंथ होगी इट विल बी फाइव टू नाइन मीटर्स ऑफ लेंथ ओके एंड इन इन दिस केस वट विल हैपन इफ यू लुक एट दिस फिगर लाइक दिस सो दे विल बी वॉटर इन द टैंक इन द शेल ओके एंड दीज आर द ट्यूब्स थ्रू विच फ्लू गैसेज विल फ्लो ओके सो फ्लू गैसेज विल फ्लो फ्लो थ्रू ट्यूब्स whereas around the tubes you will find uh, steam and water okay so this type of boiler is called as fire tube boiler ftb okay so this is all in this session i hope ki aapko is session se benefit hua hoga and uh, thank you guys for watching and if you have any query aap niche ja ke comment box mein comment kar sakte hain on gk publication youtube channel So thank you guys and all the best for your forthcoming exams thank you